I'm Dr. Neil Renault, optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision, where we specialize in vision therapy. And today's video is all about motion sickness, dizziness, nausea, uh, car sickness, balance problems, and how vision can really play a big role in those issues. And before we get started, if you enjoy learning more about vision, make sure to hit subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and let's get started. So when we get motion sickness, when we get car sick, dizziness, nausea, all those all those different very uncomfortable symptoms, those can really be broken down to a problem of communication where, where our eyes and our inner ears are not communicating very well. With our eyes, that's our vision, then our inner ears, that is your vestibular system. So we're gonna be talking a lot about those, vision and vestibular and how they work together. And they actually have to be, they have to operate at a one-to-one -one ratio where everywhere the eyes and inner ears move, they're doing it together really, whether it's moving in the same direction or opposite directions. Like for example, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. When I turn my head side to side, do you see how my eyes move in equal and opposite direction the opposite way? Or if I go up and down, as my chin goes down, my eyes go up. My eyes are moving, can you see that? They're, they're going the opposite way of my head. Anywhere my head goes, my eyes do the opposite. So they are synced and working together at a one-to-one -one ratio. They are moving in equal and opposite direction. And then when that gets all out of sorts, everything gets out of balance. The eyes need to see what the, they need to see the same thing the inner ears feel. If the eyes and ears are not seeing and feeling the same thing, then we get those motion-based symptoms like car sickness and nausea and dizziness, which actually 67% of people experience motion-based symptoms to some degree where some people, they can't even get in a car, they can't go to the grocery store, very busy places. It can be very, very severe and debilitating for some people. The vestibular system is in our inner ears and it provides information for balance and movement. So think of inside your inner ears, there's a lot of fluid, and then there's little crystals in there that act similar to if you see a buoy floating in the water that can kind of feel all the changes of the waves in the water. Your inner ears have the same kind of system where when I tilt my head either direction or if I lean forward, uh, those the, the fluid in my ears moves and becomes imbalanced. So the fluid, the crystals in my ears feel that and send a signal to my brain that, okay, we gotta get back here where that fluid is level. Also, as as the vestibular system is, is stimulated and I feel motion, that my inner ears send a signal to the brain, which sends a signal to the eyes to make the corresponding movement of about the same uh, size, speed, and direction. And this is all happening extremely rapidly. It's one of the fastest uh, systems in your body. Without even thinking, it's very unconscious, reflexive, and automatic, whereas the ears are feeling that motion, the eyes make a corresponding movement almost immediately. Sometimes these problems are purely vestibular, but the vast majority of the time, it's really a vision problem or a visual vestibular integration problem. When I say that the eyes and inner ears need to feel and see the same thing, the eyes, I'm, I'm talking about that little bit of central vision, plus the vast majority of your vision is peripheral. We need our peripheral vision, really is, is the key here, to be seeing motion the same way that our inner ears feel that motion. And then for balance, let's add in another sensory system, your proprioception or your sense of touch. When I'm standing here, my feet feel the ground. I feel a level surface the same way my eyes see a level surface and my inner ears feel a level surface. So anytime I'm standing or in motion, my eyes, inner ears and feet all need to communicate together. Our brain combines the data that those three systems give us to make informed decisions about where our body is in space. If we lose that information, if we struggle and we're not, there's mismatches, we're not quite sure where we are, then the symptoms show up. We get dizzy, we get nauseous, we don't know where we are. Then when we are put into a different scenarios like a moving car or a boat or a plane, now the challenge becomes even greater. Because now I think of when you're in the car, you see a ton of motion flying past you, but in your inner ears, you don't really feel like you're moving too much. So we have a mismatch. All right, my eyes see different motion than my ears feel. So if we have a baseline problem, then it gets even worse when you get put into a difficult situation like being in the backseat of a car where we see the motion that our ears do not feel. 
And then living with this with these problems as a child or adult can be really debilitating, sometimes even isolating. If you struggle with with you know riding the bus to school or going on road trips, if you can't ride an airplane, then then maybe you can't go on the same vacations that your family wants to go on because you just can't tolerate being in a plane. Everyday activities, even like going like going to the grocery store with all that visual motion, is overwhelming. Or running errands and being in the car for for stop and go for a few hours is difficult. So these these motion based symptoms and, and dysfunctions can be big big problems for our enjoyment and, and our activities of daily living. Fortunately, there is a solution. In our office, our optometric practice, we focus on vision therapy and therapeutic lenses. In vision therapy, our patients work one-on-one -on -one with the vision therapist working on these problems. They work on integrating their vestibular and visual systems and over and over with repetition, bring them together and make them function together. Because neurons that fire together will wire together. So we want them to be acting as a unit. My eyes and inner ears work on the same team and not uh, against each other or speak in a different language. They know exactly what each other is doing and they, they act as a unit instead of one or the other. In our vision therapy room, you, you rarely see patients just sitting at a desk. We're often in motion. Our patients need to be moving because their eye, they have a visual challenge where their eyes stay on target, they're moving their eyes in various directions, working on coordination while their bodies are moving. Anytime their body's moving, their vestibular system is activated and getting stimulated. So we're constantly, all session long, working on integrating vision and vestibular for those patients who truly need that help. We also often prescribe therapeutic lenses. These are glasses that help your eyes function better. Whether or not they help you see clearer is a different thing. Uh, even if you don't wear glasses or contacts, or if you do, this can be a good option for you because we can add therapeutic aspects to the glasses that help vision and vestibular to work together so that patients can improve their balance, they can get less car sick, they're not as dizzy and, and nauseous all the time. All of those symptoms can be reduced with the right therapeutic lens prescription. The great thing is these glasses can provide rapid relief. You can feel better in those uncomfortable situations right away. Then, as we as we work in vision therapy with patients, we're working on more of a long-term permanent solution to the problem. And once they fix the problem, then they don't need those glasses as much anymore. We can taper them off and the therapeutic lens doesn't serve a purpose when you have fixed the problem yourself. And we can see some different gimmicks on the market like, like glasses with fluid in them or uh, pressure point wristbands or different medications to help treat symptoms, but we, we they're not really addressing the true problem. They are limiting the symptoms while you still have the same visual vestibular dysfunction. So my recommendation is fix the problem at its source and then you don't need to be, you don't need to make special accommodations every time you get in the back seat of a car or you know take, take a medication every time you fly or get on a cruise ship. You can have this problem fixed and keep it fixed long term. So if you're dealing with these symptoms, if you know someone who's been dealing with a lot of these symptoms, you wanna get back in the car with your family, you wanna get back in the car and run errands and go to the grocery store again, uh, give our office a call. We can we can start with a really thorough and comprehensive vision, vision evaluation and see how we can help you with glasses or with vision therapy. And, uh, and if you are outside the West Michigan area, make sure to put your location in the comment section and we can help you find a provider near you. So that's it. I hope your head's not spinning after all of this. I uh, hope you enjoyed our video and thanks for watching.